Hi everyone, it's Chelsea. So happy Chinese New Year. It's coming up. So I hope you guys celebrate Chinese New Year with lots of fruits and vegetables and of course noodles and traditional Chinese food. So this week as a special, I want to talk about my hometown, Shuzhou in China, which is about half an hour away from Shanghai. Uh, through bullet train. So there are so many wonderful things to do in Shuzhou. It has over 2,500 years of history from its canals, its waterways, to uh, its scholars and its philosophers. So if after the pandemic, you want to head to a place as known as Venice of the East, known as heaven on earth, then look no further than Shuzhou. So, let's get started. Number one, if you come to Shuzhou, you have to go to Shantangjie. This is the original historic heart of Shuzhou downtown, and it was here that 880, during the Tang Dynasty, ancient routes were constructed to connect two different parts of the city. Today, it is a famous tourist destination where you can walk around the cobblestone streets and look at ancient pieces of architecture, classical Shuzhou food, and browse the different stores. Also has a special place of significance for me because it was the place in which my grandfather grew up and he passed away there a couple years past. So, second of all, if you want to know Shuzhou, you definitely want to head to Pingjianglu. And this is where the old heart of downtown Shuzhou it was. And here you can browse along the old cobblestone streets, the canals, spanning an area from the apartment buildings all the way to the canals and the different um, architecture. It's a long stretch of road and regions. It also hosts a lot of bus stops, a lot of transportation hubs, and also a lot of small cafes and stores. And built during the Song Dynasty, it also has lots of years of history to testify to being a strong symbol of Shuzhou today. Now, if you enjoy gardens, there are so many gardens for you to enjoy in Shuzhou. A lot of them UNESCO World certified and dating back to the 6th century BC. So one of the most famous classical gardens in Shuzhou is the Humble Administrator's Garden. And it is here located in the heart of Shuzhou where you'll see ancient styles of architecture and how the ancient Chinese lived and how the rulers and their dynasties evolved with different dynasties. So if you're looking for the modern heart of Shuzhou, definitely head over to Shuzhou Industrial District. This district was built in the 1990s between a joint venture between Shuzhou and Singapore to develop an area of high economic growth. Today, it is home to over a dozen Fortune 500 companies and has many high-end shopping malls, bookstores, uh, different uh, museums. It's home of the famous Gate of the Orient and a lot of cosmopolitan hotels such as the W Shanghai and others. Located on the banks of Jinjihu River, this is the idyllic setting for your next vacation. So some of my insider tips for you in Shuzhou outside of the city region. And that includes the incredible Guanfu and Chunlongsan. It was here at Chunlongsan that the famous philosopher Sun Tzu wrote The Art of War. Sure, a lot of you have heard of it, where he talks about different quotes about how to attack your military opponents, his philosophies on life, and so much more. Guanfu is home for the famous Xiangxue Hai Festival, known to be one of the four places in China to view the famous plum flowers when they bloom. So if you enjoy that in nature, be sure to check this out on your next trip. And finally, let's talk about Xi San. It's located on the outskirts of 
Shuzhou is located along the idyllic Lake Tai, Taihu, and it's here on this island that you'll find rustic countryside living. You'll find a cemetery overlooking the lake where your ancestors and the glorified can rest assured that they live in peace. So there are so many wonderful things to do in Shuzhou, but we haven't mentioned the best yet, and that is definitely Tongli, one of the most famous water towns in Shuzhou. Located outside of Shuzhou, it is where you'll find the historic water town where famous philosophers inscribe their livelihoods and their histories onto the canals and where today you'll browse along ancient historic gardens, architectures, and houses that used to worship rulers before in the different dynasties. So if you enjoy gourmet Shuzhou style food, you'll des definitely enjoy the noodles found during the different alleyways and the cobblestone streets near the hotels. And you'll definitely enjoy the Shuzhou style dishes such as authentic fish, vegetables, and all sorts of different assortments that you can find in those restaurants. So I hope you guys enjoyed my special future today on my hometown Shuzhou and Happy New Year guys! And I hope you see to see you guys on my other travel videos and my fashion videos. See you. Bye.